Hi everyone, this is a quick video on how to use the avatar, what are the customization options available in an avatar, and also how to generate it. So I've opened up two views. One is a mobile view. So this is how the avatar looks in a mobile view. She's there in the corner. And if I, let's say, click something. Fluid AI is an AI first company with teams in five locations, including Jamaica, US. I'm just gonna put her on mute, but she'll speak and you know run us through that content. Now on a desktop or a web browser, this is what the, the view looks like. So there's the avatar here. Hello, and I, go ahead and I am the her. Fluid AI bot. I never trust a bot where you can't. Again, same functionality to mute her. So she's over there and you can have an interaction. Now, what are the options for customization? So in terms of the avatar look and feel, you can change the color of her dress to match your brand colors. You can go ahead and if you see this Fluid AI logo, you can actually give us your logo and that can be imprinted on the t-shirt. And you can actually go ahead and make the skin tone one tone darker. So depending on the region or economy, you can either have this as a skin tone option or a slightly darker option. You can request our design team and they can share that with you. So that's the, uh, that's, those are the options in terms of customization of the look and feel of the avatar. Now let's actually go to some other quick options. So, you know, on phone, because there's no real estate, essentially this is the only option, but on desktop you have two options. Now there's the compact mode, which is the recommended mode. And we found the most amount of success with the compact mode. You can change the avatar mode to true. And if I go ahead and refresh it, they're going to go ahead. Hello, I am the fluid AI you'll see bot. Her here. I never so she comes out in the open. So rather than sticking within the bot interface, she's floating outside. So those are the couple of options that you get. When you're creating flows, how do you generate the avatar? It's actually fairly simple. Let's say I go into a particular flow. I, I go ahead, type my text. And once I type my text, I just click this button here, which is in the avatar bot. I keep it on female and I click make video. I just click that and whatever text I've typed will get passed to the avatar. There'll be a generation engine behind that will generate what the avatar is saying. And once it's complete, I can just click submit. You'll see a little bit for longer text. It does take a little time uh, for shorter text. It's fairly quick. And then there you go. So about 15 to 20 seconds gives me success. I click submit and that's it. You will have that avatar generated for that section. Now to actually uh, activate the avatar in an implementation, again, you'll see uh, there's two scripts given for, bo for bot integration. One's a regular script. So this is just one, the chat bot. And this is a script if you want to add the avatar. So you can actually have different pages of your website, some with avatar and some without. That's totally up to you.